Hey, this is Steve Berlin from Los Lobos and you're watching Juno TV. I would like to ask you, because he, has, he had such a, a huge connection to Canada, um, might as well have been a Canadian, was Levon Helm with the band, mm -hmm. and you guys had such a wonderful experience with him near the, yeah. near the end of his life, you know, what was that moment like for you, and tell us what, how, yeah. how that went down. Well, we, uh, you know, we, we had, uh, he sang on uh, Will the Wolf Survive, mm -hmm. and uh, we had sort of been in each other's orbits. Dave and Louie did some writing with him, and uh, we just sort of were just good friends over the years. And then um, the, the week that he, that he left us, we were supposed to tour with him. So we were in uh, the New England, and he, at the last minute, sort of pulled out of these shows that were, you know, literally the last minute. Like one show in New Hampshire, we were supposed to play like a big outdoor theater, and it was like literally that afternoon, he said, like, you know, that we heard they couldn't make it, and we ended up playing at the, the hotel bar, the hotel we were staying right. at. And we did, we played like a three hour show in the hotel bar for, you know, all the disgruntled fans who had come a long way to see the show. So the end of that week that we were supposed to play with him, so he canceled all the shows. And the last show of that week was we were going to play at the barn, you know, his, yeah. his, uh, his ramble. So, you know, we heard he was sick. We didn't know. And we get there, we, you know, and, and we, we had heard, you know, Levon wants to see you guys. We're like, Okay, well, you know, let's go see him. So he had this little tiny bedroom in the barn. So we go in there, and, I, and you know, my father sadly passed about you know, 15 years ago. I, I, I've seen, I've only seen people like close to dying, like really once or twice. And he looked as close to, I mean, he was frail and, and thin and shivering in his bathroom. And we're just like, oh man, this is, it was really hard to see him like that. But he was like, you know, it, he said, you know, it really means a lot to me that you guys came, you know, I, I really wanted you to, to do this and do this with me and I'm really glad you're here. And we're like, you know, we're thinking there's no way, you know, he's not going to do a show tonight. This guy, you know, he's, he's lucky he's going to make it another hour. So, you know, we hung out with him for a while, then we, we went and then we did our show and we were all like, well, you know, I guess we're going to cancel the rest of the show, you know, we're just sort of waiting there. And then he comes out and he's dressed like Jackie Wilson. He looks amazing. He's like, you know, he's, and he gets down and he, and he starts playing and singing. And we're like, what the, how did that happen? And it was just like, what, whatever life force he had left in him, he just you know, was going to do one last show. And then three days later, he was gone. And it was just, I, I have a, a video of it. It was just like, I, nobody could believe it. Like, we were, we were all like, that can't even be the same guy. But he had literally, he was, whatever energy he had, he had it for that one last show. It was unbelievable. It was, so moving and so powerful and nobody if you didn't know it like if you had just walked in you would never never had no idea that he was even sick incredible. yeah incredible. thanks for your time man hey, appreciate thanks it very much.